like the air traffic controller. Do you have a question? No. No. Oh, my God. So what did we decide about the fusing? I love these sashes. We're working on five productions right now. So the pressure's on. The energy here for me is like no other place. Frantic? Yeah. Okay. No, call me. Okay, what oh, is it, my angel? On. You know, Elisa, listen. Let's talk. It's like, how many times, Robert? It's all about the detail here. And we sweat the detail very, very, very much. Your servants to dancer, executioner assistant, stay right. It's an extreme problem solving environment. All right, sweetie, we'll figure it out. All right, I'm going to leave this with you. You need this Thursday, right? Yeah. All our new productions combined were somewhere in the 800 costume range. We're storing right now 5,000 bolts of fabric, 500 pairs of tights, 900 different lace trims, suspenders, gloves, hats. Every piece of fabric that comes in here is pressed. He presses pretty much over a mile of fabric a season, and that's conservative. The volume of what we're processing here is sort of unprecedented at the moment. Is this Pong? Which one is it? Uh, ping. It's Ping. We're turned up. It's beautiful. Henry VIII. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Normally in our fitting, there's no less than three people standing in that room poking you and prodding you and looking in the mirror and they're looking at you to see how you're looking at them to make sure that it's okay. And, you know, so there's decorum in there. Oh. Yeah, how do you feel wearing the top piece? Does it like, is it weird? <laughs> <laughs> the voice is the primary focus here and posture and the way people stand. It's almost like we're designing clothes for athletes in a way. In separato carcere, tutti costor si andratti. These are not clothes that we have. They're costumes, but we're being asked to build clothes that expand, that have to be engineered. What success looks like is if you don't notice the costume, and that's success. Bruce, this is gorgeous. Basically, if you sit there in the audience and you're engrossed in the story and you don't notice that a zipper broke or, you know, there's a red sash that shouldn't go, it should create whatever the environment is and help the story. For the most part, once it goes to stage or after final dress, it's sort of in the world and, and you know, you just let it happen. You know, everyone silently makes a little note like we did it and we're happy and it's out there and we hope it's a success and, and then we just we sort of move on. I'm Julian Cope. I'm here at the British Museum. This is the Celts exhibition. I've been dragged here by the presence of the Gunderstrup Cauldron.